So you want to start lifting weights. This is the perfect beginner workout on how to start lifting weights. I'm going to take you through an easy to follow routine. These are hex dumbbells. Hex dumbbells are preferred for a couple reasons. They're typically a little bit cheaper than rounded dumbbells. So don't overspend on dumbbells. Do your research, find, you know, used ones are always good if you can find them, they're expensive now. What you wanna to do to select your weight is think 10% of your body weight if you're just beginning. So if you're 180 pounds, I'm 180 pounds. 15 to 20 pound dumbbells are great because that allows you to do almost any exercise, okay? And always think if you get to eight to 10 repetitions and it's too easy, the weight's too light, okay? Let's go. So let's put these down and let's do a full body stretch to get you guys warmed up. Go into a plank position. And again, guys, if you know, you're a bigger individual and you can't get down to the floor, you can go from your knees or you can grab a chair like this and do this off a chair. Okay, if you have to. There's always ways, just think outside the box, especially when you're stuck inside one. All right, let's go. World's greatest stretch, plank position. Let's go right foot to right hand. The back leg stays straight. I want you to take your right hand and push your right leg out just a little bit. Kind of rock it in the joint a little. Right there. Bring it back. And we're gonna move into this. Again, left foot to left hand, back leg stays straight. Push your chest nice and high and try to keep your index finger forward on that planted hand. Push this foot and this hip out again so the inside of my shoe is coming off the ground. Back leg is straight and try to push really high and switch. Right foot goes to right hand. Now watch, take your right hand after your back leg goes straight, bring it up to the ceiling and rotate and hold for two seconds while pushing this forward leg out. Hold for one, two, and then plant the right hand. Right foot goes back, left foot comes up to left hand Push the left knee out, back foot straight. Reach up to the ceiling. Push the back leg back and straight. Push the right hand down so your chest is high. Hold for one, two, and let's do it one more time. Right foot, right hand, left leg straight. Push the chest nice and high. T-spine, mid back as you open, good. Your head is following your hand, left foot to left hand. Right foot down, index finger forward, push. Left knee out, left hand up to the ceiling. Good, now beginners, stay here. Take your left foot out, bring your toe to your shin, and then hinge forward, and then come back up. Hinge forward, so you're trying to take this hip and pull it away from your forward toe as the toe's coming towards your shin. And there. Now again, if you can't go on your knees like this, if it hurts, what you can do is you can stand and you can just do it this way, okay? Let's do one more. Hip hinge, toe to shin, push back. Again, if you want a little more, you can pull your hands behind your back and do it that way. Okay, switch legs. Here, hinge, if you want more, pull it here. And a lot of times you might find that you can pull one hip back further than the other. If that's the case, if you're having restrictions, you can always flex this butt cheek really hard. Pull this here, so flex here, and then pull your hip back. And watch how you typically feel a little more of that. Let's do one more. Flex this butt cheek, hands back, shoulders back, toe to shin, hip hinge back. Good. So now you've got adductors a little bit, you've got T-spine, you've got hamstrings, calves. Now from here, over, under. So you're crossing your hands over each other and then under each other here. Squeezing your shoulder blades in the back, warming up the shoulders. You can do this warm up every single time. Good. Now here, depending on your ceiling height, if you don't have the ceiling height, again, you can go to one knee again. Just bring your hands up above your head, keeping your core strong. Core strong, okay? 
Again, you can flex this butt cheek here to help stabilize your pelvis. And trying to let your head move all over the place. Switch legs, same deal. And again, if you have the ceiling space, I'm close, but not quite. You can do this standing. Okay, three, two, one, very good. Now, let's get into it guys. We're gonna do a full body workout. And just follow me through this and let me coach you through it. The first thing you're gonna do is, without picking up your weights, do three hip hinges here, right to there, pull your bum forward. Now you're pushing your hip bones back behind your quadriceps while your back stays flat. When you start to roll, if you feel like your shoulders are coming in towards your chest, open up your shoulders and push your bum back and flex hamstrings and bum like that. And if you have to, you can put your hands behind your back, pulling down to help you feel that hip hinge. And my feet are slightly in, not out this way. They're slightly inside to get that strong alignment. And my hips are sitting and then pushed at the top. And you do not need to overextend your hip at the top. Okay, grab your weights. Let's go. Deadlifts to start. Let's work lower first. Let's do six reps. We're gonna pause and then do, then do four more. So when you do your deadlift, push your hips back. Think about you're spreading the floor with your feet and stop at your mid shin right there. Flex your hamstrings, which are behind your quadriceps. Pack your neck, which means pulling your chin in towards your throat. Come back up, flex your bum at the top. Your shoulders are really strong and you're holding oranges in your armpits. Let's go. Hold it and back up to the top. Now let's talk about time under tension. Two seconds down, one, two, hold for two seconds, one, Two, pull up, one, two. Two seconds down, squeeze those oranges, hip hinge. Hold, one, two seconds back to the top, two seconds hold, slide down again. Squeeze your butt, push your bum back, flat back, one, two, and back up to the top. You see I'm using 15 pound dumbbells, I normally do these with 100, but you can still feel your hamstrings and glutes working if you create tension. Time under tension, two seconds down, two second hold, two second back. Hip hinge, hold, pull back up to the top and stop, okay? So that right there is a deadlift. What we're gonna do now is go right into a reverse lunge, right here. Again, easy for beginners to follow. Hold, bicep curl, Reset, back to the top, okay? Other leg, let's go. One, two seconds. One, two seconds. One, two seconds, back to the top. One, two, feel that? Let's go. That gives you control and allows you to take time to sit into your position and feel your muscles work. Now, as you go back, flex every muscle you have in your body. Squeeze everything. Hold it back to the top. Let's say that's four. Let's go here. Hold 90 degree angle in this front knee. Look forward. One, two, great. Hold. One, bicep curl. Two, reset. And back up. Let's go. Hold. Bicep curl. Back up to the top, nice and slow. Let's go here. A little extra of these as you feel them. Back to the top. Good. Now, normally, we would take that 30 to 60 seconds rest, but let's get back into it so we can get more exercises in. Okay, now. Let's do four more reps of your deadlift. We'll go this way this time. 
deadlift, squeeze your elbows or squeeze your shoulder blades down and back a little, oranges in your armpits, feet turned in a little bit, spread the floor away from your midline of your body, pack your neck, let's go, hold, one, squeeze it all, hold, half shin, two, push the butt back, tight core, tight hamstrings, and glutes. Good. One more. Squeeze those oranges. Pack your neck. Flex your butt and those hamstrings. Pull back to the top. Let's go reverse lunges. Four reps. Bicep curl at the bottom. Ready? One, two, one, two, and back to the top. The speed is not necessary. One, the control is two, one, two, one, two, back to the top. Sit. One, two, one, two, back to the top. Get in there. One, two, two seconds. Bicep curl, reset, two seconds, back to the top. Okay, so that's deadlifts and reverse lunges. Take a 30 second rest. I'm gonna do one more set, but we're gonna do 10 and 10, okay? Deadlifts, hip hinge. This is a hip hinge. You want a nice flat back, core is engaged. You don't wanna to be too arched. You don't wanna to be too far forward. You wanna make sure your neck is not hanging forward. It's packed, so your ears are more in line with the middle of your neck. You wanna think of squeezing oranges in your armpits. So you have a nice, strong, controlled back and you wanna make sure you can feel hamstrings and glutes. Reverse lunges, again, 90% energy on the forward leg, nice tall torso, 90 degrees through your hips, 90 degrees through your, through your knees, okay? And that's how we start to roll. If you always think of those, those principles all the way through, you're gonna constantly lift the same. Tension is everything. It's not about speed unless you're training for a specific sport where you're doing really dynamic movements, but as a beginner, and you're starting to lift weights, you don't need to do that. Let's just take control. Let's go. Deadlifts. 10 reps, two seconds down, two second hold, two second back. Let's go. Lock it all in. Bum back. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Squeeze, half shin. Four, you gotta flex to lift. Even though you're flexing hard to go down, you still gotta flex harder to bring that weight back up. Pack the neck. You can do this with a barbell. But again, this perfect beginner workout. When you're starting to lift weights, you gotta think about tension and form and recovery. That will help you guys a lot. Don't make the exercise easier, you make it harder by creating more tension. That's where people kinda escape the plan. They just wanna get through it. Don't get through it, get after it. Fifteen pound dumbbells. It's all about tension, good. Reverse lunges. Now what we're doing right now is super setting, but again, if you need to take that 30 to 60, sec 60 seconds rest when you're lifting weights, you can do that. But right now, we're doing what's called the super set. Let's go. One, two, one, two. One, two, switch. One, flex, two, one, two, reset, step. Let's go, that's two. Core's tight, front leg loaded. Whoa, get back here. See, I turned my head and I lost my balance. That happens, guys. Which is why you always have to control your head when you lift or when you move. Shoulders back, really strong. That nice vertical torso. Start 
starting to sweat already. If you don't have weights in this workout, just do what we're doing without. I'm telling you, you'll still get something from it until you can pick up your set of dumbbells. Let's do two more. Stop, flex, stop, reset, back to the top. One more. And back, great. So once again, deadlifts, hamstrings, glutes, reverse lunges, quads and glutes, core, biceps, stack in the shoulders, okay? Next piece, let's take it up top to go into your upper body. Now, we're gonna do rows and presses. The reason I wanna do rows and presses for you guys is because rows go well with deadlifting because you're working perispinals, that posterior chain, which means the back of your body. And most people really do chest press on their own or push-ups, so we'll skip that one for today, okay? So we're working the upper back again. Remember this T-spine rotation that you did in the warm-up? You put a little prep in there. And then we're going to shoulder press. So grab your weights again. We're gonna do a standard row with a quarter rotation, okay? Now, hip hinge. Your hip hinge is now warm. Get there. Go here, one. You see how I stop there? That gives me tension through my back and I can feel every ounce of my back working, which I want you to be able to too. So it's a quarter turn, stop, 90 degrees. Through here, think of here and through here. It should be about 90 degrees, okay? If you don't know what 90 degree is, just kind of see what I'm doing in the video and mimic that. Hip hinge, pack your neck, let's go. Six reps, one, two seconds down, pause for two seconds, up for two seconds, pause for two seconds, let's go. One, two, flex your butt, hold strong in the bottom. Three, flex every muscle in your body. Four, Squeeze, keep it engaged as you drop the weights. Good, just flex the muscles. Don't think about specifically what the muscles are, just flex everything in your back that you can feel flexing and try to ignite that deeper at the top. Keep them on as you drop. One more, good. Now shoulder press, let's do singles. Okay, stay here, 90, keep the weight there, press up, one, slow, here, two seconds, again, one, two, same rep count, flex your upper back, flex in here to drop this weight, not just here, flex in here, okay? Hold. Three, keep this glute flexed, hold. Core is tight to help your body stabilize. Let's count this as four. Up, five, up, six, good. Now use the same weight, switch your leg. So now your left leg is back and your right leg is forward. And this, even this back toe can be deep into the floor. But again, if you want more, go this way. Okay, if you want more, stay in that lunge position. Ready? 90, keep it strong, pack the neck, flex this glute, flex this glute, core strong, neck in, let's go. One, use your upper back to drop this weight. Two, bring it straight up. Right to there. Three. You don't have to pull your head forward, let your shoulder extend up. Four. 
Control at the top. Right there. Five. You can turn at the top if you want or keep it neutral. Hold and six. Okay, same as we did in our first set. Let's go back and finish with four reps right away. Three, hip hinge here, squeeze the back. Ready? Again, strong legs, strong glutes, strong core, strong upper back. Let's go. One. Keep it fired. Two. Three. Squeeze your back, guys. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your core. Four. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And if you want to get a little extra, you would hold the weight in position and do six to eight reps while your muscles are continuously contracted. If you want a little extra. And good. And that's what you do for a little extra. Okay, let's go. Now for shoulder press, let's go to Again, if you have the room, you can stand. Let's use both weights this time, and let's get it. One, control, stop. Two, control, stop, core's tight. Flex your butt and core to keep your torso nice and stable. Three, again, if you want, you can come up with a slight rotation. Flex everything as they come down, it's a game changer. One more. Good, okay. Now, let's go into the second set, full set of doing 10 and 10. Again, remember guys, for this 30 second to 60 second rest, as we do this style, you can always pause the video, take a little more rest. Even after you're done a particular exercise, for rows, for instance, if you bring your hands up and you just do this during the break and you flex your back without weights, you'll be incredibly amazed when you're doing these how to lift weights workouts, what you can get and how much you can make your body shake by just getting that strong isometric contraction after you do one of these exercises, one of these sets. So you gotta try different things. Like again, if you do whole position, then you drop the weights here and you just hold this and you flex as hard as you can, I'm telling you, like you'll get massive gains and your body will get used to getting stronger faster because of that strong mus muscular contraction, okay? Let's go. Rows, three, two, hinge. Let's get it. 10 reps. You know what to do. Flex everything. Core, legs, glutes, upper back. Flex it all. Great job. Let's move right in to our presses. Again, you can go down here. You can decide, you can do single or doubles, let's go. Three, two, one, go. One, two, I gotta go slower, see? Even I rush. It's a mindset that you have to create more tension instead of moving through, in this case, the workout, the video, because you wanna get it done. Don't think about getting it done. Think about getting it right and creating tension. Let's do five per side so you're not overdoing it. Upper back, control, 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 control. Switch sides, switch legs. Five reps. Ready, go. And you can change the position of the dumbbell as you're pressing. So you start here, slight rotation in. As you come down, stop there. You can start here, different rotation to neutral. Hold it two seconds. Let's 
Now, grab your dumbbells, bicep curls. In your bicep curls, I want you to stay here and do regular curls. We're gonna burn your arms out a little bit with a little isolation. Three, two, one, go. 10, nine, eight, seven. So it's a little faster, six. It's like a one, one, one. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, good. Rest, we'll do that one more time. This time, you just change the position, you're gonna go into a hammer curl up the middle of your sagittal line, your mid-sagittal line. Right here, draw that line between your chest and your abdomen. The thing about doing full body workouts, just think about targeting all muscle groups. You don't have to do large compound movement patterns. The perfect beginner workout, starting to lift weights, is about understanding cueing, movement patterns, simplistic, easy to follow step-by-step -step movements that you can take and implement to every workout you do from this point. Here in the middle, think about your elbows are fixed into two divots. Your elbows aren't moving from those divots and neither are your shoulders. So your shoulders are underneath a structure so they can't move. So when you did your rows, you could feel your back a little bit. Think about your back is holding your elbow and shoulder in position. And you're just getting those one second curls. This one with the fellows are at the gym in front of the mirrors when their arms are lit up. They're all veiny, all vascular. This is what goes down. Fellas and ladies, I know some of you ladies out there, a lot of you ladies out there got those jacked arms. Looking good. So I might say fellas, but I mean everyone. Nine, 10, elbow stay fixed. 11, hinge from that elbow. And 12, good, okay? Now, shoulders, back, hamstrings, got some glutes, a little bit of quad. Now what we're gonna do is work some triceps and some core. You always gotta work core. So with your triceps, the easiest thing to do for beginners, guys, is to go into a position on the ground, I gotta change my mic, where you can support your back, all right? So bring it down to the floor. As we rest, we'll go through this. And the first thing that we're gonna do is talk about the close grip press. I know most people can do chest press and all these things. Bring your feet back to support your back, right here. Bring the weights together. And as you're bringing the weights together, I want you to flex your chest and your triceps as you're squeezing. If you do it hard enough, you'll start to feel your chest, triceps, and shoulders already. Now, as you come down, stop at the point where you think you're gonna lose tension. Because if you go too low and your elbows hit the ground, it feels really slack here. You don't want it to feel slack. You wanna feel, keep your core, push your low back into the floor, push into the weights. Stop where you feel tension and then press it up. Let's go. One. Two. Stop there. Three, flex your abs as hard as you can. Four. Five. Remember our six reps first, six. Keep your weights up, take your toes, touch the ground, and do lower abdominal crunches. Two, flex your core. Three, think upper core is lifting your pelvis. Four, five, now connect upper core to lower core, and roll that pelvis up. Not too high, seven, eight, you should feel your triceps, nine, and 10, plant your feet again. Squeeze those weights together, four reps, go. Stop here, push. One. Two. Three. And four, good. Press those weights up, flex the triceps and chest to hold them there, Roll back into the floor. Toes touch, one. Two. Three, push that upper back into the ground. Four, let's do one more. Five, and rest. 
Now from here, what I want you to do with this 30 second piece, this would be what would you, you would call an active recovery, right? So it's something where you're, you're recovering, but not really because you, your heart rate's still gonna elevate a little bit with your plank, but you're just putting in work because you're, you have, you know, you wanna get extra results. So let's just do a plank for 30 seconds. Ready, go. And it's a good way to get your core in when you're doing these perfect beginner workouts and you're lifting weights, you put your dumbbells to the side and you flex your abs and we ignited them in the set before. Simple plank, don't make this complicated. If you have to put your knees down, you do that. Just hold it. I saw the world record the other day. It was in nine hours, 31 minutes. It's ridiculous, very impressive. A nine hour plank. Whew. Feel your abs, guys, I feel mine. Three, two, one, rest, good. Your finisher is gonna be a reverse lunge with a rotation. And then, because now we're getting obliques, we're getting core, shoulders, we're getting a whole bunch of muscles to work and we're getting in that rotational component which a lot of times with weightlifting goes unrecognized or it just gets missed, okay? So what we're gonna do is reverse lunge with rotation. You're gonna turn into your forward side. And we're gonna do that really slow, but for 30 seconds, okay? And three, so let's finish strong with this one. And don't worry more, think about, don't think about the legs too much. Think about your torso controlling this dumbbell, controlling this weight. Go 10, nine, eight, seven. Come on. Three, two, and one, good. And there you go, the perfect beginner workout to start lifting weights. We went through a full body routine where we went from lower body to upper body, did some core as well. If you think of that style and you listen to that style of cueing, it's gonna allow you to lift stronger with more confidence in all of your workouts and just listen to the cues, do the coaching and implement that into all of your workouts. If you want more workouts like this, make sure you let me know in the comments and I'll get it done. If you wanna become a member, join the channel right beside subscribe, hit that join button, pick your tier. And if you are part of the elevated tiers, you will get first rights to request for videos. Nate Bauer Elevated Workouts, and of course, live streams. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Awesome job today. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Start lifting, and I'll see you for the next video.